Bellas and welcome back to my channel. It's raining again. I love that for my plants though. I feel like we've had a very long rainy season this summer. It's been rainy since like October I think and it's still raining and this week is February. I don't remember it being such a long rainy season before but I'm glad because that means my plants are thriving outside. I just uploaded my video for last week and I am starting with supper while Talia is sleeping. I'm making cottage pie today and I usually just use mince and I don't put any vegetables in it, but I felt like adding vegetables today. So I chopped up a carrot into tiny little cubes. I sliced mushrooms and I'm adding peas in it. And I never used to like peas, but now that I'm 30, I think it's time to get it off those childish ways and just embrace peas. And I also want some color in the food. I actually did taste eight peas recently when I made pea puree for Talia and it's not that bad. So I don't know what all the fuss was about in my younger days. But the one thing that I'm not mature enough to eat is melon. I still stand on business as the kids say. I still stand on that fact. I don't like melon. Maybe I should try it again now but... Talia is fast asleep in bed but look who's right here scared of the thunder. I also need to clean the house by the way. It's it's looking a bit rough. I think it's about two o'clock and every time Talia has gone down for a nap, I have either worked or edited, which is work, or cleaned the kitchen. But the rest of the house is so filthy. Not filthy, it's just messy. So like I exaggerate a lot. And I haven't had a shower yet, which is also really annoying. And I don't know, I'm too lazy to google if it is a superstition that you mustn't shower when it's thundering and lightning because you can get electrocuted. I don't know. But I want to cook now and then at her next nap I'll shower. Hopefully the storm would have subsided by then. But I do need to shower before Trivino gets home. I hate it when he comes home and I haven't had a shower yet. It just, uh, it irritates me. And this morning I needed to sleep in. Sometimes in the mornings while he's getting ready for work I'll go shower quickly. But this morning I needed to sleep in because Talia did not sleep properly last night. She still wakes up every three hours. I feel like we are towards the end of her sleep regression, but she's not doing long stretches anymore at night. She did that when she was like around three months and now she doesn't do it anymore. So hopefully it's coming back. But I think from like three o'clock, she's been up every hour. She didn't want to sleep. I had her in the bed with me. She wasn't sleeping. So... I don't know, I just needed that extra one and a half hours this morning. Um, I think Trevino woke up at 5.30 and took her to bed. And then I woke up just before he left for work. I mean, took her to the lounge and I woke up just before he left for work. So that has been my eventful day. I'm very tired, but I want to cook now. And then maybe she'll have a long nap, long enough for me to sleep. But again, instead of sleeping, I will tidy up the house and do whatever needs to be done. Do you see what I mean now when I said it needed color? I just cooked the mince no oil with pepper, some garam masala, dried thyme and then I put in a beef stock cube. Then I added the carrots to cook a little before I added in onions and mushrooms. And towards the end of this I'll add in some frozen garden peas. I'm so excited to see how it's going to look. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. And then I also have potatoes boiling here. When it's time for supper we're going to have load shedding and Trevino has somewhere to be this afternoon. So I'm not going to be able to melt cheese on top of this, which is sad because it just looks so pretty with melted cheese on top. But I will do that when the electricity comes back on so that he can take the proper one for lunch tomorrow to work. I'm adding in some cayenne pepper and I forgot to say that when I was cooking the mince, I added in a teaspoon of crushed ginger and garlic. The peas just made it look even more appetizing. That's how I know I'm old because I literally just said that peas make something look more appetizing. Wow, growth. That was a very short nap. Talia is awake. <laughs> and once the, whatever, mince is like this and not too dry, I am gonna put the stove off and move that off. Probably shouldn't be cooking with my laptop so nearby, but I have to work. And then, Oh, I need to clean up my mess. Oh, yeah, so much has changed since becoming a mom. Everything is a mess. 
my spices aren't organized my spices aren't even full i have half bottles empty bottles it's a wild time okay when she is playing i will peel these mash them put some butter in it and salt pepper and thyme i love mash with dried thyme in it or even fresh thyme and then i think i'm just gonna put it in this pot i'm certain yeah these pots do go in the oven so i'm gonna mash that and then put that on top and then put it in the oven and like i said about the cheese so i'll add that in when i can This is like, if you had to make an emoji of me, this would be what my hair was gonna look like. I am gonna make dal gloss for supper now. And it's very early, it's like, I think it's not even 12, but Talia is chilling, so it's the perfect time for me to cook supper. You saw this morning that I had made myself overnight oats, and I just put Greek yogurt in the Authenticos brand that you get at Checkers and some mangoes and a little bit of honey and it was so good. I enjoyed it. This was just, loved it so much. I had such a bad day yesterday. Talia was, didn't want to go down. She didn't want to be alone. She wanted to be in my arm the whole, arms the whole day. And then I got locked out of Facebook again for the third time. And I need Facebook for work. Like I manage other brands through Facebook like on business manager so it was just a whole really bad day I hadn't had a shower by the time Trevino came home and when I was eating supper I put my gum here and I feel like it's just it was just like the cherry on top of the cake and I was oh I was so upset anyway I eventually was just over everything uh, after I put Talia down I slept I'm lying I did some work and then I went to bed and I woke up in a much better mood this morning she slept a lot better last night yes you did and I woke up had a shower like as soon as I woke up I went to have a shower usually I'm like oh, la, 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 la. but I had a shower immediately and then I had oats like you saw and what else did I eat today I had a slice of toast with hummus and tomato and rocket that was good that was a nice snack and then i have leftover cottage pie which i'm gonna have for, for lunch not supper and um, you know it's obviously frozen but this is what it looks like i didn't end up cooking it in the pot in the oven i put it in another casserole container thing it looks very thin but that's how i make it i don't know i just use like i think it's 500 grams of mince i don't know anyway like i said now i'm about to make dalgos i boiled the doll on sunday because we were supposed to have on saturday because we were supposed to have dalgos on saturday but then i was tired so we just put ribs and chips in the oven and let me show you the masala that i use i basically put 50 50 of it in this container and I'll show you what it is right now. It's Rombo Rossi Sting from Gorimas and the Kashmiri Extra Special Masala. And I just mix them up and use that. Yes, yes. Hello, I'm here. Okay. Yeah. This is how I start the dalgos. Please don't say that's not how you make dalgos. This is how I make mine. Okay. Have bay leaf. Um, wow, this always happens to me. Bay leaf curry leaf chilies and jeera seeds i think jeera is the skinny one i don't know but it's the skinny one curry is looking delicious and then here i have previously boiled and frozen split peas red lentils which is the normal dal that i use and then normal biryani lentils those brown ones i don't think i'm gonna put all in here but let's see quantity wise what I do maybe I'll do half I left this frozen piece back in there and then that's what I have I need to mix it up let it cook and I'm trying to figure out if we eat dalgos with rice or bread or do we eat it like that I don't know but for those of you who want to know how to figure these things out without bugging people and asking people and also remembering because I can't remember how we eat this I always go on the babes you know, I always go on the babes uh, facebook group 
to see how people eat their certain things. Wait, what was that? Veg pickle, nice auntie, nice. Yeah. That goes with rice. There we go. I'm gonna make some rice now. <laughs> Remember I said I haven't had coffee in a while? I was just feeling for an espresso. These capsules are looking at me. So I made one now. And this is from the Christmas limited edition. It's frosted caramel nuts. That's the one that I made. I'm gonna put some oat milk in here. But I started reading a book that I read previously. It's called The Masterpiece by Francine Rivers. I actually was looking for um, Redeeming Love, but I remembered, or my friend reminded me that she had it. So she's gonna bring that for me on Sunday and then I'll read that. And Talia's supper for today is going, my hair, I was reading in bed while holding her. It's, it's a lot. Today's supper for Talia is gonna be mashed cauliflower and i can't wait until she hits six months then i'm gonna start fully doing baby led weaning we've already given her mango to hold and watermelon and she had apple with my mom also but i'm waiting to do the vegetables oh and i've given her tender stem broccoli because it's quite long but she was freaked out by the the way it felt the texture of it so i'm just mushing up in a mortar and pestle the boiled cauliflower it's just easier than using the blender which is so much work and that's going to be her supper for tonight i need to go feed her she's making sounds there on the carpet and i'm going to take my coffee with me this looks so horrible with oat milk it looks like mud dagger water <laughs> i it's thundering so if you hear that in the background that's what's happening you're okay you're okay I just want to clarify what I meant when I said it's her supper. She is still primarily breastfed. I just give her, I don't know if I've actually spoken about this, I think I may have, but if I have, just pretend like you haven't had it before. I have been giving her a teaspoon of vegetables every afternoon just to get used to the texture and like the swallowing motion and things like that. And also to start getting used to food. Everything has been pureed and the nurse that we go to for her vaccine said we should give her something the same thing three times or three days to see if she gets an allergic reaction so that's what i'm doing so so far i've actually made a list on my phone i've given her green beans sweet potato peas carrots broccoli and now i'm giving her cauliflower lulu <laughs> and um then when she's six months i'll give her the whole vegetables like i said and then start introducing things like protein um, animal protein so eggs meat and then also nuts which is another allergen and fish but as i go through those things i'll share my experience i know i did a question sticker on instagram this weekend there were a few moms that were curious about starting solids and I said that I follow a page called Solid Starts on Instagram and I research a lot of things. So that's how I've been doing things. I know some people say with when it comes to nuts, like because a lot of people have nut allergies, they put a little bit of peanut butter on their finger and then let the baby test it and see because usually an allergen as strong as that can cause a reaction in an instant. So I believe that we're gonna be clear of that and I pray every time I feed her something just to make sure that everything's good. One of the things that parenting has taught me is to not be paranoid and to pray even more than I've prayed before. So that's a very good thing. Prayer is always good. Dinner is served. Look at the steam coming off it. I don't know if you can, there we go. You can see it there and look there. The one day that I look presentable Talia was sleeping on me. That's what that is. It's drool. We went to Mall of Africa today because there's a clicks baby there. And I just put it down. She was lying on me for so long and then I put it down. Let me see if she puts herself back to sleep. Like I was saying, first of all, it's just weird for people who've been watching me for many years that I now have a baby like I was saying we went to Mall of Africa because there's a clicks baby there and they pierce baby's ears 
and I didn't know that you needed to have your six month she needed to have her six month vaccine before we pierced her ears so we went there and we didn't have that done yet so we couldn't pierce her ears then I also went to Arc I also went to Arc and tried out some new perfume because part of my 30 for 30 version 2 is that I want to buy myself a new perfume and the lady sprayed Versace Dylan purple on me because I said I like floral scents and things like that and at first it smelled like toilet spray but now I am getting more and more into the fragrance but I also feel like it's a little bit too teen it's very floral it's not very mature and then I sprayed the Kayali yum gelato pistachio i think it's called it's that um, nice greenish bottle and at first when it first got onto my skin it smelled like an old lady's perfume and then as we went throughout the mall and stuff it started smelling better my lips are so dry but it smells a bit powdery but i think i'm enjoying that one my battery is gonna die um, but anyway last night wasn't good with Talia she was up from about 12 30 until 4 a.m and then she slept at 6 and then she woke up at 6 a.m so it's been one of those days i'm gonna charge my battery now and then we're gonna do a little bit of planting later gardening so i'll take you guys along with that let me see if i can make her sleep again this is what this corner currently looks like um as you can see the tomatoes are taking over and they're not growing like they should be so it's not supposed to be getting yellow like that so I'm gonna take these three trees out the three big ones and I'm gonna put them in those Willie's bags there and I also wanted to show you look how exciting this is look look at my little pepper that's so exciting and here's another one <sighs> I'm so excited about this look there's more another one and a tiny one there love this for me and this is how we planted them they're obviously wilting because they've been out of so uh, soil for like five minutes and then they just decided to be dramatic and die and then we know planted radish in here the soil here was ugly so we just left that empty and this is what this corner looks like now i still have one tomato plant but i'm going to give that to trevino's uncle and here is the lettuce that my sister and i planted a few vlogs third out for change to film because the other jeans that I had on before this were standing jeans not sitting jeans let me give you guys an update so oh, I need to put lotion on do I have lotion in this room I'm just gonna use cuticle oil I did my nails with Cherise and for a change it's not anything nude and it's not a French manicure. It's something cute and Valentine's y. I'm using the Essence Cuticle Oil, by the way. Okay. Let's just drop that all over my hands. My hands are urging. <coughs> okay. This is what my nails look like. They see cute. So cute, so cute. Okay. That. Yesterday we got a new nanny she started working for us yesterday and it's been going good well it was one day but it feels a little bit weird oh look cold tea i feel like i'm dory she started yesterday and it went well for her first day tilia also did really well for the nanny's first day so i'm very excited and interested to see how this pans out what is this Yo, Dory vibes. Today I did a little bit of shopping. Well, my husband. So, um, I wanted to show you guys what I got. I did a full try on haul on my TikTok. And I went into Contempo and I felt like an old lady. But I feel like everywhere else has crop tops. And that I didn't want crop tops. All I have are crop tops. So I didn't want to get another one. This is a cute green top from Contempo and I think it was on sale, it was 180 the original price was 360 This dress, I think I'm going to wear this to church tomorrow. I usually like to wash the clothes before I wear them, 
but I've been wearing the same outfits over and over to church and it's been frustrating for me. This is like a shirt dress. It's quite see-through, so I'll have to put something underneath it. But it's from Pique Pique Clothing and it was $2.90. A little bit expensive for what it is, in my opinion. Or maybe I just haven't bought clothes in a long time, so I don't know what the price of clothes is. This is from The Fix. There's no price on it. And it was part of my birthday gift from my man. It's got a over. slit. Yeah, I know. I haven't worn it yet. And then there was something else, wasn't there? No. And then the skirt from Fushini that I showed you. And there's one other skirt, but I put it away in the room and Talia is sleeping now, so I'm not going there. That's the other skirt that we have going on. I have cousins coming over now to see Talia. One of my cousins haven't hasn't seen Talia yet, and it's almost six months, so she's very excited. I'm very excited. We're all very excited. And I didn't cook anything, we're just having snacks. I'm trying to get out of this thing of always cooking when people come to visit. I feel like it's a very, it is a very cultural thing, it's a very Indian thing to do, but I'm tired and I'm tired. <laughs> That's my little haul. Um, like I said, the full try on is on TikTok. Maybe I'll also post it on shorts, but then I'll have to find like royalty free music. What else? Oh my gosh, babe. Do you know Universal Music Group? Yeah. They removed all their music from TikTok. So there's no Drake songs anymore. There's a few other things. It's very weird because TikTok... Active. Yeah, TikTok is a music... What are you eating? Yes. I'm coming now. Because TikTok is a music app and now there's no like music on it. Such a waste. Anyway, I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope that this vlog was interesting. I don't even know what I vlogged about this week. And I will see you guys in the next run. Is there anything exciting happening next week? No. Oh, let me tell you guys. Last night we went to church and it was my first time back at Young Adults Nights. If you follow me on Instagram, you know all about it. And we left Talia with my mom. And everything was fine. We left her there around six o'clock. And then I think about half past eight or eight, my mom says, please come back home. She's crying uncontrollably. And they tried so many things. They put the dancing vegetables on. She had her bottle. They were walking with her and nothing was working. And I know Talia gets to a point because she does it with, she did it with a nanny yesterday. She does it with Trevino sometimes. When she wants me and she only wants me, she does a high pitched scream and it hurts so much. So they phoned us and we left church. And as we drove into my parents' complex, guess who fell asleep? So that was our event for a Friday and oh wait, does this count as part of my 30 for 30 in elevating my wardrobe? I think it does. I think it does. All right. Anyway, I'm going to end the vlog now. I want to go set out the snacks and eat some of the chips that my husband um, has in a bowl. I can guarantee you it's in a bowl. He doesn't eat chips from the packet. He always puts it in the bowl and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Don't forget to subscribe.